In the midst of the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, a dark and distressing chapter unfolds for the Ukrainian soldiers. These brave soldiers, who found themselves in enemy hands, have been subjected to a series of horrifying ordeals that defy belief. Let me share with you the gravity of the situation here. The UN Human Rights Monitoring Mission in Ukraine spoke to 159 prisoners of war held by the Russians about how they were being tortured. You know what? Russia wouldn't let anyone, not even the United Nations or the Red Cross, into the facility where these captives were kept. This place, which was supposed to hold Russian prisoners, turned into a secret chamber of suffering. What are the dark secrets behind these chambers? Why are the Russian soldiers described as the devil of the place? In this video, we delve into the shocking, painful punishments insane Russians do to captured Ukrainian soldiers. Now, I know the Russian government says that they didn't do anything wrong. But seriously, they didn't even bother to answer when people asked them about this. They've denied hurting prisoners before, but the evidence is pretty clear. Russians are just lying. Here's something that gives us a little hope though. Sometimes Ukraine and Russia would swap prisoners. It's like a small win in the middle of all this mess. They managed to free over 2,500 Ukrainians, but there might still be around 10,000 stuck in Russian custody. Can you believe that? I was reading about Dmitro Lubinets, who was an ombudsman in Ukraine for human rights. He said, nine in every 10 former soldiers claimed that they had been tortured while in Russian captivity. Lubinet said, this is the biggest challenge for me now, how to protect our people on the Russian side. Nobody knows how we can do it. Now, get ready to witness the types of torture and punishments that soldiers had to endure. In September 2022, Artem Serednyak, a senior lieutenant, he was held captive by the Russians for four months. He and a bunch of other Ukrainians were blindfolded, tied up, and put in a truck. They had no idea where they were going. When they arrived, the Russian officer was all like, you're gonna be stuck here forever. That's terrifying, right? They were escorted inside the building, had their fingerprints taken and clothes removed, were shaven and forced to shower. At every step, guards at the facility who carried black batons and metal bars beat them in the legs, arms, or anywhere they wanted. Serednyak said, it's what they called reception. Before we got captured, he was in charge of a sniper group at the Azov Regiment, a big deal in Maripol's military. Because of this, he became a prime target for the prison staff. They separated him from the others and brought him to a room where he was interrogated for the first time. Can you believe he was just in his underwear? Where will that lead to? The guards started asking him all sorts of questions about his army role and what he did. It sounds unreal, but they even used an electric shock weapon on him. He got zapped on his back, genitals, and neck. Serednyak compared it to being hammered like a nail. In May 2022, when the Russian siege had Maripol in a tight grip, the Ukrainian authorities ordered soldiers hiding in Azovstal steelworks to give up. Serednyak was among the last to be taken out. First, he was sent to a place in Olenivka, a village in Donetsk. Later, he was moved to that prison in Tangenrog, over 70 miles east of Maripol, near the Russian border. Inside the prison, things were messed up. They checked on the captives twice a day and seemed to find any excuse to hurt them. It's like they were looking for reasons to be mean. Like, if you didn't leave your cell right, or your arms were too low, or your head was too high, that was enough for them. During one of these checks, they asked the Redniak if he had a girlfriend. He said yes, and then a guard said, give us her Instagram. We'll send her a picture of you. He lied to protect her and said she didn't have an account. And you won't believe this, he got beat up for that. And then they took him to a creepy basement room. And guess what he saw there? Another Ukrainian fighter who was in his 20s curled up and clearly in pain. The poor guy had needles shoved under his fingernails by the officers. Can you even imagine the level of cruelty? I mean, come on, this is like something out of a horror movie. It's insane how they treated these prisoners. Some of the prison staffs are heavily influenced with President Putin's denazification story. Basically, they were super focused on anything that seemed even remotely pro-Nazi. And because the prisoners couldn't have their own stuff, the guards got fixated on their tattoos. The following story is horrifying and will turn your stomach. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. According to CNN, videos alleged to show Russian soldiers castrating and killing a bound and gagged Ukrainian soldier are circulating on social media, drawing an accusation of potential war crimes from the United Nations and prompting a Ukrainian investigation into possible torture. 
The three videos appear to show a soldier wearing what looked like yellow and blue patches, the colors of the Ukrainian flag, on the ground with his hands tied behind his back, first being gagged, then mutilated, then shot. Can you imagine that this really happened? What's wrong with this world? The video that appears to come first shows the victim being gagged surrounded by at least four men, one of whom is wearing what looks like a Russian uniform with the Z insignia associated with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. A second video shows the same man writhing on the ground as a man wearing blue surgical gloves and what appears to be a Russian uniform cuts off the victim's underwear with a box cutter. The man uses the same box cutter to castrate him then holds the mutilated genitals up for the camera. In the video, the perpetrators can be heard saying, hold him, hold him, in Russian. The third video shows the bound and mutilated man being shot in the head and dragged away. Can you believe the pain this Ukrainian brave soldier had to endure? It's sick making, right? And this is not the only source. There are multiple stories circulating in the internet about horrifying war crimes the Russians committed. Now, let's hear about Irina Stani a brave 36-year-old combatant medic at the 56th Brigade. She saw some really terrible things. The prisoners were always hungry. She called them constantly malnourished. It's heartbreaking, right? They barely got any food, and they were stuck inside all the time. Stani explained that during those twice-a-day checks, the guards made her and other women do really uncomfortable stuff. They had to be bent in a stressed position, with their arms behind their backs and their heads to their knees. But that's not even the worst part. She said that sometimes the female captives were ordered to take off their clothes in front of the male staff. And to make it even worse, some of these guys would say insulting comments about their bodies and rape them in front of the group. It's like they were just trying to break these women down in the worst possible way. The Media Initiative for Human Rights, a group in Ukraine, actually documented some horrifying stuff at the Tangerong prison. They recorded three deaths that seemed to be because of torture, lack of food, and medical care. Maria Klimek, who was one of their investigators, called this place one of the worst for Ukrainian detainees in Russia. She heard accounts of men being taken to interrogation and asked whether they had any children. If someone says they don't, they're beaten in the genitals. And you know what the guards would say? For prevention of procreation. And get this, some Ukrainian soldiers were put on trial, and they used false confessions they gave under custody against them. The one last name on our list is Dennis Hyduck who's 29 and a military surgeon, went through some real tough times too. The guards made him and other captives run with their heads down while getting hit during their so-called reception. Even when they were on the ground and couldn't stand, the hits didn't stop. They punished them to the floor and shocked him with an electric stun weapon until the battery died. Other prisoners said they got shocked too, using a military phone and wires. It's like they were trapped in a never-ending cycle of pain. If they lifted their heads, more beatings followed. After 12 months of captivity, with seven of those months being in Tangerang, 44 soldiers were being released on May 6th. Can you imagine the relief we must have felt? He said the day was like a second birthday, and honestly, I can totally understand why. So guys, the situation was worse for the Ukrainian soldiers. I mean, Russian government? Are you blind or what? You need to take the responsibility for those punishments which are done by your soldiers and stop them from doing it again. Let's hope the war will be over soon so the lovely people of Ukraine can live in love and peace. What are your thoughts about this? Please share your comments below and subscribe to the channel for upcoming stories.